Sit. Yes, Omar. Oh, Rusty's not doing too hot. Yeah, he's not. He just doesn't know where he is. Welcome him, Omar. Welcome to your patch, Omar Games. Tell him everything. Oh. Hey, enough, guys. Rust, enough. Oh, yes, good boy. Maybe we should take him to the park sooner than later. Yeah, we can take him wherever you want. Well, we'll take him now then, I guess. Okay. Let him run it out, then we'll come back and smoke and shit. All right. Works for me. Hey, it's like PUB PUBG with me. You and the dog are the same, that's for sure. A little skittish. Motherfucker, you listen to the Kodak Black all morning. Look at him. Like, oh, I almost said the name. You have to check. I kind of did. Ronan tricked. He goes. The people on the vlog don't know that you can't say Kodak Black or listen to it for a month, or you have to pay me. I know. <laughs> I was like Kodak. That's amazing. They're like, we won't tell. Delete the vlog, delete the live stream footage. She hasn't been in it yet. See you later. So long. I think they will. I think once I can let Russ into a fucking open dog park and run around like a madman, I feel like we'll come back to your house. Today's vlog, the stresses of dirty urn and dog ownership. I fucking hate You it. may see the tricks. <laughs> you may see the treats, but you don't see the terror. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. It's all fun and games. You've heard of Cesar Milan, the dog whisperer. Starting to rail your dog park. Oh. Hey, guys, enough frost. You're really, you know, you're being a dick, both of you. Green light. What a fucking stress ride. Now I gotta go play fucking PUBG. I'm gonna have a heart attack uh. by the time this day is over. It's only 10.30 too, dude. <laughs> I feel like it's fucking... Four? Yeah. That stressed you out, huh? Yeah. Well, cause that fuck, I just, people dog Let's fucking hear it, bro. owners, dude. Let's hear it. I knew the minute that dog walked by, I'm like, that's not a good dog. Probably shouldn't be in here with all these dogs. Then it starts checking Omar. Then it starts like literally bullying Omar to the point where the thing would have got in a fight. Yeah. And then the guy picks the dog up, holds it like a baby for 30 seconds, and then puts it back down. Like yeah. as if he's calmed it now yeah. and it's gonna fucking change things. Like all you've really done is get the dog like, oh my God, when you put me down, it is motherfucking yeah. on. Yeah. And he did, and he, and, did. The, and he comes right over and fucking starts again. Then he times out some in the other side as if he's like, I mean, I guess that worked a little bit, but it's like he's not a human, dude. Get the dog yeah. the fuck out of there for the day. Yeah, there comes, Try a, point, it again. There comes a point where you just have to like teach the dog that yeah. when it does something, that, they, that it it's leaves. over. Yeah, yeah, it's over. That, be like, all right, Lee, Sean, yeah. we're out, dude. Yeah. You don't come to the dog park and do that shit. Yeah. Like Same thing at the club, dog. You come in the club, you start checking motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah dog. Yeah. If you don't take your friends out of the club when they start acting stupid, <laughs> yeah. you're the fucking bad friend. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's so true. That's amazing. <laughs> the funny thing is, he wasn't even like, like giving whatever, any yeah. aggression back. He was literally like, "All right, dude, get yeah. out of my face. I'm just trying to get away from you." Yeah. And the dog was getting more vicious, which yeah. is not a good sign. No. And I would have fucking beat that dog up like a fucking yeah. 12th grader <laughs> motherfucker at a snap dog. Yeah. Straight up, I don't even fault the owner. Me and the dog been squaring up. Like, bah. yeah. No, the owner didn't want none. No, the owner ought to clothesline him first. The mm. owner can't hurt his hands. He looks like he's got a gig Friday night at yeah. the fucking. <laughs> the house. The blues, the way, way blues, <laughs> super blues. Playing acoustic covers of Willie Nelson and the green light at the lobby. Look at that shoe, look Ooh. at that shoe there though. More important than the green light. It looks like it ripped right off somebody's leg. Well, that doesn't look, that's not positive considering it's next to a highway. <laughs> Psycho. Dirty yeah, the real dirty art is out. Packages. Um, those fans sent us those what shirts. Oh. And I brought them with the dog, and then I saw you, and I got up. I just realized pulling in, I was like, what's that over there? Oh, shit. Oh, so you saw random packages, and you were like, oh, shit. And then you realized they were yours? Yes. <laughs> hey, guys, Russ, don't even start this shit. Please. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Woo. I don't know what happened. Oh. That shit almost oh. Are you recording that? I wasn't. I don't know how much. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm so oh. <laughs> I, I just went down the crack of the elevator. Did you see that? Uh, dude, that would have been the worst. Yes, I saw that. Oh my god. It fell out and I kicked it straight across the fucking elevator gate. Oh. 
Even a phone case wouldn't have mattered there. So for those of you that tell me to put a case on my phone, where would it have gone? Oh no, to the bottom. That was an exciting morning. It's real fucking boring. That's really nice. Nope. Oh, what this is, or who, it doesn't say like who it's from or anything. God. God. A gift from God. Gift from God. Thanks, God. No way. <laughs> <laughs> These are fucking hilarious. A Gillen was on a different shirt. That's amazing. <laughs> Just two college kids with our priorities straight, paying for boost instead of tuition. Keep up the most entertaining shoe content on YouTube, Jeremy and Jared. Nice. Thanks, Jeremy and Thanks, Jared. Those guys. Are, those are awesome. Oh, the shirt's awesome. But the fucking blunt itself. Mm. All right. It's okay, Ern. You did your best. That's yeah. all that matters. It's all that matters in the world is if you do your best. Who cares if your best isn't worth a shit? <laughs> Thanks, dude. Not yours, I'm just saying. People. In general. Considering humans can't be objective of themselves, how do you even know when you're doing your best? Damn, that's deep. Mm. Green light. I'm trying to I'm trying to fix my there's some stuff on the bottom of my phone there. Oh, okay. I get so baked I'm just rambling on and I have no idea what I even talked about. They're rolling up, he's about to pass. He's gonna pass. Here he comes. There he goes. Yeah. Alright, let's just address this right now. Why the fuck are you always wearing vans? Oh, no. Why the fuck are you always in vans? What is happening? Look at these fucking things! Look at this! You're not even upstairs! Why do you hate yourself? The thing is, I'm a skateboarder now. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Man, I remember having that dilemma when I was young. When I wanted to wear my skate shoes, but I also had Jordans. I didn't know what to wear to school. Because I wanted to skate afterwards. But you're not skateboarding right now. I know. See, the thing is, last time I wore nice shoes, my bread V2s, they got messed up. How? I kicked foot in that hole, man. You're not supposed to skate in the... <laughs> That, those will fit in the fucking backpack. You can fucking put them shits in your back pocket. Right. Well, maybe not your back pocket, but you can put them shits in the back pocket. You're killing me. You're killing me. I didn't realize you went full thrash skate, though. Did you sell your boost clay? No, I got it. Uh -huh. I bought the, the dad shoes this weekend. You got the 700s? Nah, no, the desert gray power phase. You're listening to fucking lump upstairs. Who do you think would win in a fight, you or Bob Barker? You don't even know who you're gonna beat up in a fight. Dude, you don't even know his name. Mike, Mike Tyson can come. Out. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Chuck, Chuck, Chuck Norris. Oh. Got fist in his beard. That would kick your ass. Oh, son. I would beat the no. shit out of you. No, no. <laughs> Fucking table mechanics, you know. Yep. Got to rebuild the carburetor first. So you know, put new seals in it. And change out the old gas. Some pineapple cheese. Pineapple cheese. Yep. Really? Weed. Oh, weed. Smoke some pineapple cheese. Yeah, right, man. This dude, if we did that, we'd be like, Whoa. I would not be able to work if I got high. This snake would come to life and bite him right in the fucking, ah! right in the gizzard. Abby, there's, uh, there's no weed smoking tattooers in the building today, so we're going to need you to pinch hit for the camera. We need a third person to smoke with us. Done. I'll do it. Will you? Mm -hmm. So it's really pineapple cheese. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How many blunts do you guys smoke a day? Two? Four? <laughs> Eight? <laughs> Two. 16, a baker's he said dozen. Two. Eight. A this baker's dude said dozen two. of blunts. <laughs> Together, we don't smoke that many, I don't think. I smoke two before I get to Teddy's house. Damn. No, not two. I usually do my morning wake and bake. It shows that his workout. What is your morning wake and bake? Shut the fuck up. What does that consist of? Like <laughs> seven bowls? Take a big dab and then I smoke a blunt of one kind of weed. And Damn. I just sit there and talk till the blunt's done. Or does it even do anything? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It shows. <laughs> <laughs> then I get to Teddy's and we immediately. Roll up and smoke a blunt. And it take doesn't dabs. like you can like talk to the world and shit. Like go out. And yeah, he but drives. what? Yeah. <laughs> like, what he's a man. Teddy's acting like I'm, he drives. No, the guy's amazing. You should see what he can do on weed. He's fucking phenomenal. He's my assistant. He's really good at that. <laughs> yeah, but you could fucking like drink a few beers. So oh drive. yeah. I had if I had two shots and I tried to drive, he'd be fucking done. Son. <laughs> Done. He, he stresses himself out so bad gaming that he don't fucking. The wind is already <coughs> gone. The edge is yeah, fucking dude. back. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fucking yeah. sharp. Mm. 
Fuck. <laughs> Look at that red. It's that solid in that one. What? I gave you all that solid. Someone has the ink. And that one. Yeah, get him the ink. Let's do what happens. Let him do it. Wait, I got no skills. Yeah. Restart. Same. I love all these old lounges and these fucking signs and shit, dude. This makes me feel like I'm in the Wild West out here when you drive mm -hmm. up Broadway. Hey, I'm in a fucking vehicle, an automatic vehicle that takes gasoline, but I feel like I'm in the Wild West. <laughs> <laughs> okay, later. In How'd you guys get the sign to do that outside? <laughs> I haven't taken a bath in seven years. <laughs> Y'all got a goddamn sign that's lit up like the fucking moon. <laughs> we'll stay here. How much is it for a night? <laughs> well, it's 150. You need a debit card, and it's 159.99 for the first. Time. You can bring the camera in for whatever reason. Ern goes, I should get a novel. I should get something novelty to roll up for my live stream. And I was like, Yeah, you should get like a shine paper or something, like a gold one. And then they pull down the gold papers, and then they pull down the gold blunt. He's like, How much is the gold blunt? They're 25 dollars. Nope. Be rolling. Whew, we have so many choices. This I wonder which I ordered some stuff off of Amazon, but I don't know. Oh, it's all of it. The internet tagged me in this from a Mashable thing. So I bought three of them and it's a salad cutter ball. You nice. put your salad in there and you cut them. Yeah, so I bought one for me. An astronomy blow up ball. I must have been very stoned when I bought this. I don't know why. The dream rotating <laughs> projector lamp. I don't know why I bought this either. I just really wanted it. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, you can keep it too. <laughs> I can keep it. Thanks. There's the gold in it. Sasha, man. Look at this. Okay, so, uh, I'm still knocking out tons of laundry at my house. I actually haven't really been able to do any last day, but, um, so I got a ton of laundry to do, and I've got to get ready to go to New York City. New York City Sneaker Con. Saturday and Sunday, I will be there both days. There is merch for New York City Sneaker Con. Come say what's up, it'll be crazy. If you haven't already bought tickets, sure you can still get tickets, I don't really know. I think you can buy them at the door, but New York City Sneaker Con is nuts. And I'll be around New York City for a couple days if I don't catch you there, maybe I can catch you somewhere else. You know I'll be around, Ernie will be around, Brandy will be around. But yeah, tomorrow's basically, tonight and tomorrow is basically just packing. I'll be live streaming later on Twitch. And then we have to get ready for the mystery bag drop. We are currently right now still counting bags, trying to get everything ready for tomorrow night. So a couple of details about mystery bags. Uh, tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. That's 8 o'clock p.m. on the East Coast. And that is 7 o'clock in California. Um, $20 a bag, it's the only option. $5 flat rate shipping. So if you get multiple bags, if you get four bags, whatever, however many you're trying to get, it's $5 shipping for all of it. That's that's it. $5 shipping domestically, it's a flat rate. So you get 200 bags, it's $5 shipping. Well, actually it's not because orders over $200 are still free shipping, so, but you get the idea. 6 p.m., be ready. They flew last time. We upped the stock this time. Um, there's some really cool stuff in some of them. Yeah, like mystery bag, people love our bags. A lot of people do mystery bags and you get crap. Our mystery bags are usually pretty fucking lit. Um, be ready for that tomorrow. Should get to you by Christmas. And then, um, yeah, I'm just packing up and getting ready to go. But let's talk shoes. I didn't actually, get, well, I did get a pair of shoes today, but we've already looked at them. But let's talk about shoes that are coming out, have come out, that I'm cop, am gonna cop, am not gonna cop. All right, so first, uh, there's a shoe on December 21st, there's a new CS2 that's coming that's called the Core Black, and it's got um, red and blue accents in it, Core Black upper, red and blue accents. It looks a lot like the OG NMD. You know, it's very similar. I like the way the shoe looks, like I like CS2s, and I like, the little tip of the hat to the OG MD. And I'd probably cop the shoe, but I'm not going crazy over it. It's not something like I'm losing my mind over. I like it. If I didn't have the OG NMD, I might be more inclined, but um, it's just not one. Like now as my collection grows, I'm definitely getting a little more selective, even though it doesn't really seem like it lately because November was crazy. Uh, there's the NMD R1 STLT. Some people were calling it the NMD Racer, I think. This shoe, when they first showed pictures of it, I was absolutely hell no, no way. There's a red and black colorway that's out right now, which I really don't like. Yeah, I don't, I don't really, I'm not really feeling this shoe too much. So the, the yeah, I just don't feel it. Uh, there's been a couple of colors I've seen that I'm kind of like, all right, that color's okay. The pattern doesn't look too nuts. But for the most part, the way that pattern looks on the shoe, I'm not super feeling it. Kind of just waiting to see if some of the other colors that we haven't seen yet, like 
maybe I'll be into them, but so far I'm just a fan of the NMD R1 camo, regular colorways, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the new one, the, yeah, this one's a little nuts. So I'm not really sure about that one. Uh, but it is out now. If you like it, it's out now and there's more colors coming. Uh, December 16th, Blue Tint Easy. Everybody in the world, well, not everybody in the world, but everybody in the sneaker world knows that's coming. Obviously gonna cop those. I'm trying to get an extra pair for my mother for Christmas, even though she watches this, but honestly, she it's fine. She doesn't know what a Blue Tint Easy is anyway. Even though I'm gonna put a picture here, she still is gonna look at it and be like, okay, Okay, whatever, but, and who knows if they'll even fit. Blue tint easy, definitely a must cop. I like all the Yeezys. Probably the last V2 we're gonna get for a little bit, so. Uh, on December 20th, the Lux Ultra Boost is dropping. So this was a, originally was supposed to be a social status. Um, this was originally a prototype for the social status. This was one of the models that was designed as a, I guess, prototype sample for the social status SNS collab last year. Um, and because it didn't come out and they, you know, obviously the shoe is still hot, so they wanted to put it out and it's coming out as just a broad consortium release and that'll be available uh, December 20th. That's a cop for me, I like it. I think, it, I think it's a good looking shoe. Nice and luxy, so I'll go for it. Um, then there's the undefeated Profear. A lot of people have asked me nothing about the Profear. I haven't tried them on, I probably won't try them on, honestly. Um, I. I like the way the shoe looks in the silhouette, but I like the way the shoe looks in the silhouette because it's already an EQT. When you hold those shoes next to each other, in my, or at least in my, I haven't held them physically, but they look the same. You know, the Profear to me looks like a version of the EQT with just no boost, and then they made the outsides kind of spiky, which I like the little spikiness to it. It's cool, like, I like it. I like the 90s vibe, but it still just kind of looks like the EQT, and they switched a couple of things around with like straps and laces, but for the most part, it just kind of looks like a, a cheaper version of the EQT, which is great. You know, if you're not like a boost addict and you want to ride, you know, it's got a knit upper, but even that knit upper is very similar to the top of the EQT. Not in this one, not in the, not in the undefeated one, but the regular one that's already come out. I'm not super into it. But yeah, the Pro Fear is a little weird to me. Um, I understand it from a business perspective, making a cheaper base model. But for me, it's, it's not really, not something I'm gonna go after. And the undefeated one's cool. It's got like the tiger camo and it's got like a little bells and whistles and tricks and definitely like a nicely designed good looking shoe, but it's not something I'd ever wear. So that one's a pass for me for sure. Um, 4.0 Chinese New Year will be dropping. I'm going to assume around the New Year's. Um, this looks good. I like this. I like the red bottom. I like Chinese New Year shoes when they drop them. A lot of people are going to say like last year's a lot better. I probably agree with you on that one. But um, yeah, Chinese New Year 4.0, definitely going to grab. It's a lot of 4.0s that have been dropping, so I'm not going to be as crazy. I'm not getting every single model. Uh, like the Candy Cane 4.0, I passed on for now. So many white shoes, don't really need another pair. I don't even get to wear the ones I have right now. It's about to be winter, et cetera, et cetera. But um, yeah, they're cool. They're nice looking shoes. I like them. Yeah, so plenty of 4.0s coming. There was the Ma Meniere and I don't know if I'm saying that right, an Invincible collab, which was the NMD and the Ultra Boost. Both of those shoes are inspired by the store's love of interior design. So they have these like crazy premium materials. And the, upper, the upper is made of a cashmere wool prime knit. The Ultra Boost has luminescent fibers. They both look super nice, super cozy. Pretty excited to get those. Both are on the way. Was a must cop for me, for sure. And then lastly, there's the, uh, this one was funny because there's the size NMD, the invisible pack, as they were calling it, I believe. The orange noise, the invisible, called invisible because it's that bright fluorescent orange that you see for hunting camo, whatever. Uh, deers can't see that color, so it blends in with the green, so that's why they call it that. But this, these shoes are the same color, that solar color, and anyone who knows me knows that I love solar colors. So that was a must cop, but it was a pain in my ass because it stocked very quickly on size and sold out in my size, or in a 12 and a half at least, and then, um, yeah, resell on them just like, you know, people know I'm after something, I feel like, and even just like the Bigfoots in general, the prices just go crazy. Like pretty much that shoe sat online for days, except for in my size, and then resell on it was super low for everybody. Super, super low, like basically retail. But then you click on 12 and a half and it's 1,500, 2,000, 3,000 dollars. Luckily enough for me, having a little bit of clout, I guess helps because uh, on eBay, I saw a pair in the UK, ended up messaging the guy 
way. We worked it. He knew who I was. We worked it out. I have a pair on the way. I still paid resale, but it wasn't super insane. Thank God it was, you know, a little bit over 300 up, 300 bucks to have them shipped to the United States. So they're on the way. But that was a pain in the ass, and I was really getting upset that that shoe was gonna, you know, when these exclusive shoes drop elsewhere, it's still just like anybody else. I'm after it, and if I miss it, I miss it. So, um, but yeah, that's the shoes coming. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go. Omar is pretty much poop from the dog park, but I'm gonna go play with them and clean and pack and do all the things that I do when I'm not on camera. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Peace.